Hi again YouTubers, so this is my update video on my project 5pan. Sorry my fax is going off, I have no idea why. I haven't had a fax in god knows how long. Anyway, um, first of all this is kind of a new camera angle I'm trying out and new lighting um, because I feel like as it gets towards winter and it's not quite as sunny out or um, as bright out. I've been trying different lighting options out. Um, plus, I tend to tape videos more towards the end of the day. Boy, my regular phone's going off too, my Blackberry. So, um, trying out a couple different ways of lighting and things like that. Um, it's a little bit different of an angle. I'm still at my vanity. It's just off to the side a little bit so I can get a little bit better lighting, I hope. So, um, let me know if you like this or not. Um, I think I'm done, Project 5 Pan, and I actually am almost to a point where I'm a little bit further than that. So the first thing I product, ugh, first product I finished was my Shiseido Sun Protection Liquid Foundation, very water resistant, suns with a sunscreen of 42 in it. This stuff, I'm gonna go purchase multiples of them as backups. I have not gone through an entire container of foundation in years like I literally some of them will go bad or expire before I use them and I use this entire thing like in two months because I used it every single day and every single time I went out at night and every single time I did my makeup I use this product um, I wear it right now in the color SP 70 um, however when I purchase a new one I think I'm gonna go down a shade because um, obviously as the summer ends I don't do as much self tanning, so I'm not as dark as I was either. So um, that one, by the way, I have a list of things I'm going to purchase um, now that I'm done this. So um, this being the first one, and I'm probably going to buy two of them because um, I was walking through the store the other day looking at watches, and I stopped at the counter just to ask them if they had it in stock, and they're holding two for me, one in the lighter shade and one in this shade because I wasn't sure what I wanted. Um, and I couldn't buy it right then because I was doing Project 5 Pan. Holds don't count. They're just holding it for me. Um, but they said they don't carry it as frequently as they get into the winter because it's not as um, requested because of the SPF in it and people think they only need it in the summertime. So um, if you've watched my review on this, guys, it is the most flawless finish with any foundation I've ever used, liquid foundation. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey, it evens out everything, I don't need any concealer, and it gives a beautiful finish. So, buying more of that. Uh, the next thing, and by the way guys, I put some updates on my blog as I did this as well, so don't forget to check that out. Um, the other thing that I finished is my CoverGirl Lash Exact um, Mascara. Now this one has the rubber wand, I don't know if I'm in the camera anymore, sorry, because I used to have it so much closer to me. Let me know if I'm not, um, and I'll watch this obviously, but this is a plastic wand, and I use this as my everyday mascara because it really separates really nicely and doesn't look too heavy. So I love that, and I will repurchase. Um, I actually then went to another mascara, and I finished this one up as well, and it's Rimmel Sexy Curves. Um, this is the regular one in black. They also have a waterproof one now and this is what that brush looks like. Um, and I really love this product. This is more of my nighttime going out mascara because it gives me really nice defined lashes and it really uh, works great. So I finished that one. Another one that was a surprise to me that I finished, sorry my phones are going bonkers, is the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. This is what it looks like and I've got nothing left. Like nothing. <laughs> so um, I didn't even realize that I just happened to grab for it and it ran out. So that was a lucky one. And then um, I was in, we have a, a Jeep that I keep um, lip gloss in. Well, I keep a tender tone in if you guys, look, this is so old. It's like totally ripped off on the back. Um, this was in the color, I think it was Take a Hint. Um, I have another one and it's already in the Jeep. But the reason I kept this in the Jeep because it was a glass container that I can sit upright and even if it melts it stays in the container whereas a normal lip like balm type of thing will melt and kind of get all over the container so I finished that one too done I'm excited that I have another one I actually have one more backup too because uh, these are hard to find in this color however I've seen them at the CCO recently 
And then another thing that I finished up is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium. This one um, I started using, I think it was deep or dark. Um, what was the one I bought the next time? Medium dark. Medium, medium, yeah, medium dark is what I have been using. But um, I use this one. Can you see I hit the pan totally? Um, I use this one um, just to use it up. I'll be honest with you. It's the only reason I use it. it color doesn't really go anymore. I actually had to add more bronzer and stuff on afterwards because it didn't match as well. But so that's one, two, three, four, five, six that I completely finished. I'm so excited. And I'm just going to show you this. I have four more that I'm on the verge of finishing. This is a lip gloss in Viva Glam's six. And I have it on right now because I'm trying to use up the end of it. I barely, barely, barely have any left in there. So I'm going to finish that one up. Um, I also have been using the Neutrogena Moisture Lip Soothe Cooling Hydro Gel in Glaze 06. If you can see, almost done with that too. I've been carrying that one in my pocket. Um, the next one I'm going to have to buy now that I'm done Project 5 Pan. This is one that has to be repurchased as well, but this one's almost at the end. This is my NARS Laguna bronzer, and I love it. I own Casino. And I own the Barry M dupe of this, um, but this is still by far my favorite bronzer. So um, I will be repurchasing that because I'm getting really nervous because I'm down. And I'm getting really, really nervous that if that starts chipping apart or breaking apart, I'm not going to have this one. And it's my favorite. I have others I can use, but that one's still my favorite. And then the last thing that I'm finishing up on is my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is a bronze universal. Cause you don't need much of this guys like this is like when i started project five pan i was like oh i'm gonna totally finish that one up nope i still have a good amount left this is probably gonna last me at least another week maybe two so i have finished one two three four five six of them and i have seven eight wow nine ten so oh, should i wait and do project 10 pan and just finish these i don't know I'm going to finish them anyway, but um, I have a couple things that I'm really, really, really dying to purchase. Uh, Sephora just started carrying Josie Marin products, and um, oh, I had a couple things um, that I wanted to get online at Mac. There was something else I wanted. I don't remember. I had a list. Oh, um, I wanted to get the Bare Essentials mat because I had been using a sample, but I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase that now. So, oh, my phones are going bonkers today. Sorry about that. So anyway, that is my Project 5 pan. Kind of moved in the Project 6 pan into the process of Project 10, 10 pan. So I'll update you guys on my blog as I finish things up. Um, I think that's going to be one of my blog comments is products that I've used completely um, because it's good to see that. Um, so I hope you guys found this fun. And uh, it didn't take me long, actually. Um, I specifically went after products that... I was on the verge of finishing. So um, definitely a fun thing, way harder than I thought. I was like, I can do this easy, no problem. I haven't, want, there wasn't anything that I really wanted, wanted for a while. I was like, I can do this, this is no problem. It was so hard. Thank you all on Twitter who have been talking to me and keeping me strong and Gemma and Jessica RD, um, both have been doing this with me and uh, it's been awesome and I'm gonna keep trying to use up products I think that's the best way to go about it things that aren't limited edition and I'll update you guys on my blog as I do so thanks so much for watching and have a great day bye